One of the fun things we do here at America's Value Channel is have our bonanzas or up to 15 different types of stuff. Because we're not afraid of an each price that's affordable for everybody versus you got to spend a lot to get a lot. Always never fair. And one of our most popular, that when I looked alley of last year, and again, we're on five hours a night, three nights a week, 52 weeks a year. We did it four times for the entire 2023. So the good news is, is it's time for number two in 2024. We got them back. It is that beautiful Franklin uncirculated bonanza. There they are, folks. 90% silver uncirculated coins. And that is correct. Up to 15 different. There were 35 coins made in the entire Franklin series started in 1948, ended in 1963. They were made at the Philadelphia, the Denver, and the San Francisco mints. So when you add them all up together, there's 35 different coins. We can offer, offer up to 15 different. And that's incredible because that's almost half the entire series, yeah, You ever right? take 40% of them in one single swoop if that's what you would like to do. On the other hand, if you just want to have a uncirculated Franklin, you can afford one tonight and that's what works for you, then thank you. We'd love to have you join us. Now, the years, again, for the Franklin were 1948 till 1963. And if it wasn't for the unfortunate events of late 1963, the passing of President Kennedy, and then the Kennedy half dollar as a tribute coin in 1964, we probably still see this coin in circulation today. People loved it. It was the first time in U.S. history that we had a non-president on a circulating coin. Let's go through the test. The Lincoln cent was? Oh, sorry, 19, 1909, <laughs> she's writing a note. Then we have the nickel, Jefferson, Jefferson 1938. 1938. We the have the Roosevelt Mercury, Dime yes. in 1946. The and Washington Quarter in 1932. And then this and one then this in one. 1948. There you go, hey! <laughs> and a round of applause. I hope you all got that one right as well. So. This was Franklin, one of the most influential founding fathers we had, scientist, and you name it, diplomat, now. Firefighter. Holder on largest coin in circulation, because the silver dollar ended in 35 with the peace dollar. So this is the biggest coin and the biggest for last, right? But it ended shortly, only 16 years. Now here's the reverse of the coin, everybody. Above the bell, that's where the mint mark location is on the Franklin half dollar. You'll find a D there for Denver or an S there for San Francisco. Now keep in mind the Philadelphia mint coins do not bear a mint mark. So if there is no mint mark there, of course, those were made at the Philadelphia mints. We have all three mints in this bonanza, in this particular hoard that we came across in Baltimore. That's why it is named the Baltimore Franklin half dollar. Uh, we call it a bonanza because it's, it is, it is a bonanza. It's so much fun when you can get such a variety. So when you order multiples, or if you purchase multiples, make sure you look at the reverse for those mint marks as well. You'll have some branch mints in there. There's a Philadelphia mint coin coming across right now. Item number on this one, folks, 9052482. So if you're joining us online via the website, which is avccoins.com, just enter that item number into the search bar. Enter the quantity you'd like, whether it's one, five, 10, 20, 15, different is what the max is though. But so, the price does not change. That is a low price. And Allison brought up again, up to 15 different means we're at about 40%. Let's just do some math on this one just to show you where we're going so quickly. Two coins were made for circulation in 1963, a P and a D. This one is a D mint mark, as you can see on the back. So if you get two coins in the 1963s, you turn them over, you see one's a P, one's a D. You got two different, right? 63, 62, 61, 60. Four years, two mints. If you get eight, right? So that means if we're doing 15 different, we're way back into the middle of the 1950s on these. And the coins in this group are the ones we're showing you. The 51, there are 51 S's in this deal. The 55 and the 56, the Philadelphia only years, which happen to be two of the rarest coins in the entire series. The 55 is the rarest. They're in this grouping. So it's not 15 different. It is 15 different with P's, D's, and S's all in the mix. Incredible value, 1995 per coin. Now our competition, they typically run from 59.95 to 89.95 in uncirculated condition. We're more than $40 less on the low end, and 19.95 each, no matter 
how many. You don't have to buy 15 to get that low price. And that's the beauty of it, folks. You can join us. This is a uh, sh the shortest lived half dollar series of the 20th century, looking at it just about a three quarters of a century years old at this point. Yep. And it was only made for 16 years. Steve referenced uh, the late unfortunate events of late 1963. Uh, the Kennedy half dollar comes out in 1964, then they pulled silver, and it was copper clad going forward. This is the last long series, quote unquote long, it was a short series, that was 90% silver. It had really circulated. And then in the 80s, silver hits $50 an ounce. You were melting these things for $20 a pop at that time. So a lot of coins were melted as well. So finding uncirculated pieces nowadays, not that easy. And again, just for reference sake, again, we've been doing this for decades now here at AVC, and they've never been afraid of low price points. Yeah, but again, the mantra of the network is America's value channel, and we're my competition. And we saw this ad specifically, this TV segment, about a 10 or 12 minute segment on a rival network, and they were at $39.95 each, which is a good price when you looked at the 59 to 89, you referenced earlier, Allie, which is today's current pricing. But if you wanted to get it down to 29.95 per coin, you had to buy 20 coins a roll. So that means, let's not be silly with this, let's be factual, 30, 29.95 times 20 is what? 600. So you had to spend $600 with them to get to where you were at 29.95. Tonight, you're at 19.95 if you want to buy one coin. So it was like a, as low as twenty nine ninety five with some small print. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, we, there's you know, no fine print here. So you got to put your cheaters on, or you got to, or, or luckily we had our cataracts fixed. I can, <laughs> me, my vision's so much better since I have that done. But it's all about value, value, value. Uh, we got to put a one minute clock up though, Steve, because these phones are on fire. Thanks, folks, for joining us. Uh, we referenced, you know, this is this is a collector coin. We want you to join us. For, with this vintage half dollar, uncirculated. Now each one will be individually encapsulated just like you see on your screen. So you could uh, take them out and look at the obverse reverse, check out the dates and the mint marks on the reverse, up to 15 different means. You buy 15, no two are the same. No two are the that's same. That's pretty simple and that's exactly it. And again, if you just do the math, P and D backwards, you're pushed right back in the middle 1950s. We talked about there's estimates in here, like the 51S you're seeing right there. That's the S mint mark below the E and the S in states, the mint mark location. There's also 55s and 56s, the year we only made one coin. I referenced that earlier as well. So it's a great mixture of not only P's, not only D's, not only S's, it's a mixture of all of them. But the one common ground tonight here on America's Value Channel is they're all just 1995. The more you buy, the more variety you get. Again, a wonderful opportunity. And that is why we call it the Daily Deal.